So well, I got loads of questions in my last video that what are things you should do after you have actually came here in the UK. What are the important things you should must follow and you should must do. So I will be just going through a, a systematic order. Like this is a first step and towards the I think of what like five important things. So I'll be going to first, second, third, and in a very chronological order. You have to do the first thing very first and moving to the number fifth thing. So make sure you watch this full video and also if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It really helps us a lot and make sure to give it a like. And okay. The very first thing is that you need to have a UK address. In order to get a UK address, you need to have an accommodation here in the UK. So most of the students actually go for the student accommodation, but even if it's a house or a flat, make sure you've got a contract for it. Loads of students I've seen making mistakes that they don't take the contract from the landlord. They just like do a like you know one-to-one -one phone call and they sort it out and they really struggle later on. So make sure you know your address has to be documented because the bank is going to ask you for that document later on. So you know the natural insurance people can also ask you which I'm going to reveal slowly what does this all things mean but so make sure that you've got your address and you've got a written contract made for you again student accommodations are really nice here i can recommend you embers students to book your student accommodation because it's a marketplace for student accommodations if it's newcastle just put newcastle over there and it'll be showing you all the student accommodations in newcastle and they've got very good special offers for the students and they've got 24 by 7 free service so make sure to utilize embers students to book your accommodation the link will be in the description box of this video so the very first thing is done, you've got your address, you've got sorted out, you've got the contract, then moving to the second thing. So well, now the second thing is to collect your BRP. Now BRP is biometric residence permit. Basically, this is your identity card that you you are actually here in the UK, and it and it will be having a number like a BRP number. So basically, if you put that BRP number into the government website, uh, like you know, let's say if it's an employer, he puts puts that number into his uh, government website, then he'll be able to see like how much hours are you allowed to work. Is it 20 hours? Is it 40 hours? So that that number is really important, which is on the BRP, and also so it gives you a right to work. It also gives you right to live. So these two things that's what the brp is for and again now in order to collect the brp it will be mentioned in your visa letter which you have got like you know once you've got the visa it will be mentioned from where you need to collect the brp so in my case it was from the university like the university had one particular building where all the international students go and this they collect their brp card but on the same time it could also be the local post office from where you need to collect the brp so this information from where you need to collect the brp will be mentioned in your visa letter so Second thing is done, you've got your BRP now. So you've got your address, you've got your BRP. Now moving to the third thing. Now the third thing is your national insurance number. Now let's say if you want to work in a local shop, in a local restaurant, the employer will be asking you, what is your national insurance number? Now essentially national insurance number is a way for the, for the employer to actually so basically, you know, you need to pay the taxes to the government. So essentially, based upon the national insurance number, the employer will be cutting off the taxes from your salary. So essentially, that is the purpose of national insurance number. It is basically your number where all your salaries are recorded. How much tax are you paying? What is how much money is going for the pension? Everything is recorded uh, based upon the national insurance number. And this number is very important because you can't work without this. Uh, NI, NIN number. So this is a really important thing to have. Now again, in order to get your national insurance number, if you just need to go to the Google and just write down NIN phone number, local phone number, and the and basically on the Google it will be giving you like a ten digit of uh, like a phone number. Essentially, give it a call on that phone number. Personally, for me, it took like 40, 40 minutes or one hour of waiting because there's a lot of calls, call requests. You know, they are really really popular. They're really in demand because a lot of international students come in September and everyone wants their national insurance number. So they're really busy. So just be patient that you have to wait around forty minutes to one hour. So you'll be on the call. They'll be picking up your call after that. They'll be asking you your some general questions that what's your address, uh, what's your name, like passport number. So just keep all these things handy. Your address, what's your exact address, what's the postcode, everything. So you need to keep your passport handy. You need to keep your address handy. You need to keep your BRP number handy. So the previous three things which I sent you in the video. So once the call is finished, they'll be giving you something called national insurance reference number. So with this reference number, you can actually start working in a local restaurant, in a local shop. You can just tell them I've got an NIA reference number and on the call they'll be giving you an appointment so you need to uh, like you know fulfill that appointment i think it, in my case it was after one month of that call so i went for that appointment and during that time they gave me an IA number by a post 
okay so that's the full process to get your national insurance number but again you can start working on nin reference number which is given over the call you don't have to actually wait for the nin number to work so you can work on the reference number okay just remember this thing because a lot of people think that you know they have to get the nin number and only then they can work but no you can work on the reference number as well so well now you've got your national insurance number now you got address prp nin number now you move to the fourth thing which is your bank account now again in the bank account you need this document you need your address you need your brp maybe you also need your nin number but i don't think so you need i mean if you got the reference number it is fine you can start uh, you know your process of opening the bank account because some of the bank don't uh, like care much about the nin number so essentially then you'll start making your bank account for the bank account i think just go to any local bank which will be like close to your university like i've got banks in lloyds bank which is really good there is like no joining fee or anything like that so which is a very good because i've heard from students that some of the uh, banks start you a joining fee so in my case uh, this bank of scotland it's lloyds bank same same thing bank of scotland or lloyds bank and essentially they have got no starting or joining fee so make sure you know you can make your bank on lloyds bank essentially where i've got my bank account and again you need your address and the brp so well with this you have got your four things sorted out which is your bank account now this is done now you go to the fifth thing which is your health registration which is very easy you just need to go you need to just see which is your local nhs you just need to go to the local nhs and they will be like making you fill a particular form and then they will be giving you your health registration number so this is your fifth thing to do on the list so essentially like these are the five important things i, sh- I think you should actually do after you land here in the uk these are the most important things then apart from this i think lot of people have got question that from where to get the sim card and all the things so well sim cards are here free of cost so what i'll be doing for you is i'll be mentioning a link in the description box of this video so essentially go to that link uh, they'll be get, taking you to the home page and on the home page just mention your address where you're living the uk address where you're living and they will be just sending a sim to your uh, uk home address and essentially it is free of cost they won't be charging any delivery fee nothing at all so feel free to utilize uh, that particular link you know you're going to get the free sim card uh, so well this thing is sorted that will be getting a sim card as well with the help of this video so i guess like this we discovered all the important things which i wanted to is got the first thing address second thing is your brp card which is the bio biometric residence permit then you got nin number nin number is really important for you to start working in a particular local shop local restaurant anywhere you want to work you need your nin number then you've got the fourth thing to do which is your bank account then finally we've got the fifth thing to do which is your health registration so i hope with this like this video has been informative and if you want uh, to me make any videos just make sure to put your ideas in the comment section of this video that well just should make video on this make video on that i need help in this so uh, so that's like how i make the content of this channel by taking your help so make sure to also subscribe the channel for other updates and like the video thank you very much for watching cheers bye bye